Welcome to Geotopia for you, your one-stop destination for all things geography. In this video, we are going to discuss about human races. So without any further delay, let's begin. Edward Kennedy once said that what divides us pales in comparison to what unites us. In this video, we will first understand what a human race really means. After that, we will have a look at the physical traits of different human races. Lastly, we will have a look at the major racial groups of the world. Introduction to Human Races What is race? Anthropologists have defined race as the principal divisions of mankind, marked by physical characteristics that breed. A race is a group of people with more or less permanent distinguishing characteristics. Race has also been defined as a biological grouping within the human species distinguished or classified according to genetically transmitted differences. Physical Traits of Human Races The various physical traits that are used in racial classification are Number 1. Stature Number 2. Skin color Number 3. Cephalic index Number 4. Nasal index Number 5. Hair structure Number 6. Eye orbital index Number 7. Cranial capacity Number 8. Prognathism And number 9. Blood group We will have a look at each of them in details. Number 1. Stature Stature refers to the height of the body of an individual. Stature is influenced by paternal characteristics, age, health, nutrition, climate. Stature is not inherited quality. Therefore, it isn't a very important factor in racial classification. On the basis of stature, people may be classified into short, medium and tall stature. Stature of men is generally more than stature of women. The Negrito people like Pygmies and Bushmen are short stature. Some races like the Nordic have a higher stature. Number 2. Skin Color On the basis of color, races are classified into three groups. Black, yellowish brown and white. Light skinned people are found in areas with scanty sunlight. Their skin does not contain enough melanin. Dark-skinned people are found in areas with most exposure to sunshine. Their melanin secretion is the most. Yellowish-brown-skinned people are found in areas with moderate sunshine. Melanin is the substance in our bodies that produces hair, eye and skin pigmentation. Number 3. Cephalic Index Cephalic index can be defined as the ratio between the breadth of the head to the length of the head. There are three types of cephalic index. Number one, dolicocephalic. Number two, mesocephalic. And number three, brachycephalic. There is another index which is known as the orbitocephalic index. The orbitocephalic index can be defined as the ratio between the vertical diameter of head and transverse diameter of head. There are three types of orbitocephalic indexes. Number one, platycephalic. Number two, orthocephalic. And number three, hiplicephalic. Number four, nasal index. Nasal index or NI can be defined as the ratio between the breadth of the nose to the length of the nose. There are three types of nasal indexes. Number 1, leptorine, that is long nose. Number 2, mesorine, that is medium nose. And number 3, platyrine, that means broad nose. 
Number five, hair structure. Structure of hair is an important index for classification of human races. It is deemed to be a permanent hereditary index. The three types of hair structure are ulotrichi, that means woolly and frizzy hair, simotrichi, which means wavy or curly hair, and leiotrichi, which means straight hair. Number six, eye orbital index. Eye orbital index can be defined as the ratio between the breadth of the eye and the length of the eye. The values of the eye orbital index for various races are negroids 80, australoids 85 to 88 and mongoloid greater than 88. Number 7. Cranial Capacity It refers to the capacity of the human skull that is cranium. It can be measured only after the death of a person. It is estimated that man has an average capacity of 1450 cubic centimeters. It increases with the growth of the body but has no correlation with racial intelligence. Number 8. Prognatism the projection of jaws is called prognathism. It is an important physical trait of human beings. The negroids are known for the pronounced prognathism. The Nordics or Caucasoids have virtually no prognathism. The Mongoloids have moderate prognathism. And the last physical trait is blood group. Blood group is an internal physical trait which may be used as an index for the classification of races. Modern blood studies have concluded that among Caucasoids, A blood group is more common. Among the Mongoloids, B blood group is most common. Among the Negroids, both A and B blood groups are found. Next, we move on to classification of world races. There are three primary human races in the world. They are Negroid, Caucasoid and Mongoloid. Negroids can be divided into two categories, primary Negroids and secondary Negroids. There are two types of primary Negroid races. Number one, forest Negros and number two, Negritos that is Pygmies. There are Five types of secondary Negroid races. They are Bushmen, Oceanic Negro, Nilotic Negro, American Negro and Australoid. Caucasoids too can be divided into primary Caucasoids and secondary Caucasoids. There are three types of primary Caucasoids. Number one Nordic, number two Alpine and number three Mediterranean. There are four types of secondary Caucasoid races. Number one, Eastern Baltic. Number two, Dinaric. Number three, Polynesian. And number four, Indo-Dravidian. Mongoloids can be divided into three categories. Number one, Northern Mongoloids. Number two, Southern Mongoloids. And number three, American Indians. So let's have a look at each of them in details. Negroid race. The Negroid race is considered to be the earliest human race. The term ne Negro literally means black. The main habitat of Negroid people is in Africa, south of the Sahara Desert. General features of the Negroid race are black skin, woolly hair, short stature and they are dolichocephalic in nature. Primary Negroid Races Number 1. Forest Negros The features of Forest Negros are They are dolichocephalic, they have ulotrichous hair, they have a flat nose and they have dark skin. Now Forest Negros are classified into two categories, African Negros and Oceanic Negros. The habitat of African Negros includes the forests of West Africa, Congo Basin, Upper Congo Valley, Southeast Asia and Melanesia. Number 2. 
negritos or pygmies. The features of negritos includes number one, their dolichocephalic in nature, number two, their ulotrichous hair, number three, they have flat nose, number four, they have dark skin, and number five, they have a very short stature of around 150 centimeters. Asian pygmies are called negritos, whereas African pygmies are called negrilos. The habitat of the negritos includes equatorial Africa, Melanesia, Malay Peninsula, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, and Philippines. Secondary Negroid Races Number 1. Bushmen The features of Bushmen include that they are an admixture of Negroid and Mediterranean race. They are very dark skinned, they are very short statured, they are dolichocephalic, they have small legs, they have ulotrichous hair and they are platyrine. The habitat of Bushmen includes the Kalahari Desert of Africa. Number 2. Nelotic Negros The features of the Nelotic Negros include the following. They are an admixture of Negroid and Caucasoid race. They are very dark skinned. They are very tall, approximately about 175 centimeters. They have a long and high head. They have deep grey eyes, they have ulotrichous hair, and they are platyrine. The habitat of Nelotic Negros includes Ethiopia and Somaliland. They also live in Eastern Sudan and Ethiopia. Number 3. Oceanic Negros The features include the following. They are an admixture of Negroid and ancient Caucasoid race. They have dark grey or black skin. They have a below average stature. They have a long and high head. They have pronounced prognathism. They have ulotrichous hair and they are platyrine. The habitat of Nelotic Negros includes Philippines, Papua New Guinea, Melanesia and Ma Malaysia. Number 4. American Negros After the discovery of North and South Americas, European people migrated in large numbers in these continents. In the 18th and 19th centuries, African Negros were exported to these places as slaves to work on fields and in factories. This entire process is called the slave trade. They are an admixture of Negroid, Caucasoid and Red Indians. Number 5. Australoid The features of the Australoid race are the following. They are an admixture of Negroid and ancient Caucasoid race. They are black skinned, they have narrow head, they have hairy bodies, they have cymotrichous hair and they are platyrine. The habitat of the Australoids includes the entire Australian continent. Caucasoid race The Caucasoid race is considered to be the European race. The main habitat of Caucasoid people is extended from Europe and North Africa to South Asia through Southwest Asia. General features of the Caucasoid race are light grey or brown skin colour, Wavy or curly hair including blonde hair on body, long stature and brachycephalic to mesocephalic head. Primary Caucasoid Races Number 1. Nordic Race The features of the Nordic Race are the following. They are mesocephalic. They have cymotrichous hair including blonde hair on body. They have got a flat nose, they have fair skin and they are long statured. They are the northernmost Caucasoid race. The habitat of the Nordics includes Northern Europe and Anglo-America. Number 2. Alpine race. The features of the Alpine race includes the following. They are brachycephalic, they are mesorine, they are cymotrichous hair and blonde hair on body. They have a light brown skin and they are of 
medium stature. Their representatives are Swiss, Magyars, Finns and Swiss in Europe. The habitat of the alpine race includes the Alps region of Europe. Number 3. Mediterranean race The features of the Mediterranean race includes the following. They are mesocephalic, they have got cymotrichous hair, they are flat nosed, they have got a light brown complexion and they are medium statured. The habitat of the Mediterraneans includes the shores of the Mediterranean Sea. They have migrated to several different continents. Secondary Caucasoid races. Number 1. Eastern Baltic race. The features of the Eastern Baltic race includes the following. They are brachycephalic, they are cymotrichous, they have got a medium stature, they are fair skinned and they have nose and eyes like the mongoloids. They are the admixture of Nordic, Alpine and mongoloid races. The habitat of the Eastern Baltic race includes Finland, Belarus, Southern Germany, Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia. Number 2. Dineric race. The features of the Dineric race include the following. They are mesocephalic, they have cymotrichous or leiotrichous hair, they have got medium to short stature, they are white skinned and they are mesurine. They are the admixture of Nordic and Arminoid races. The habitat of the Dinerics includes the Eastern Alps and the Dineric Alps of Europe. Number 3. Polynesian race. The features of the Polynesian race includes the following. They are mesocephalic, they are ulotrichous hair, they have medium to tall stature, they are brown to yellowish skin, they are mesorine, they show vertical prognathism, they show epicanthal fold in eye and their eye orbital index is 88. They are the admixture of Mediterranean, Negroid and Mongoloid races. The habitat of Polynesians includes the South Pacific Ocean Islands and New Zealand. They also live in Polynesia and Micronesia. Number 4. Indo-Dravidians The features of the Indo-Dravidian race includes the following. They are long-headed, they are strongly built, they have a short stature, they are dark complexion and they are platyrine in nature. They are the admixture of Mediterranean, Negroid and Proto-Australoid races. The habitat of Indo-Dravidians includes the southern states of India including Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Andhra Pradesh. They are also found in the country of Sri Lanka. Mongoloid race. Mongoloid race is commonly known as Asiatic American race. The main habitat of Mongoloid people is in Central Asia, East Asia and Southeast Asia. Mongoloids migrated to Northern and Southern America during Stone Age. General features of the Mongoloid race are, they have a yellow complexion, they have straight to wavy hair that is their leiotrichous in nature, they have a medium stature, they are brachycephalic and they have oblique eye with epicanthic folds. Their oblique eye with epicanthic folds is the most distinguishing feature of the Mongoloid race. Number 1. Northern Mongoloids. The features of the Northern Mongoloids include the following. They are brachycephalic in nature. They have got leiotrichous to cymotrichous hair. They are medium statured. They have got a yellowish brown complexion and they have oblique eyes with epicanthal fold. They are the primary or proper Mongolian race. The habitat of Northern Mongoloids includes Mongolia, China, Korea, and Japan. Number 2. Southern Mongoloids. The features of the Southern Mongoloids include the following. They are brachycephalic, they have leiotrichous to cymotrichous hair, they have got a very medium stature and they have a yellowish complexion.
They are the result of admixture between mongoloids and caucasoids or negroids. The habitat of southern mongoloids is southeast Asia. Number three, American Indian. The features of American Indian race are the following. They are brachycephalic. They have got leiotriches to cymotriches here. They have a medium stature. They are yellowish to brownish in complexion. They migrated from Asia to the Americas via the Bering Isthmus around 16,000 years ago. They include the Red Indians, Eskimos and Aleuts of the Aleutian Islands. The habitat of the American Indians includes North America and the South American continent. Thus we come to the end of the video. These are the names of the books that have been consulted for making this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked our content, please like our videos, share them and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.